All right, be back in a minute. All right, just like 30 seconds. I just got to go feed Puzzle, who, as always, has waited until after the stream begins to request food. the first stream we've done in a while where it's been pretty dark uh, when we start up. Um, you know, the sun's starting to go down earlier, so that might affect you know, the lighting in here a little bit. Uh, we'll see. So, uh, Alien Soldier, we're going to get started in a second here. I have never played this game before, but I read about it when the Genesis Collection came out and thought, oh, you know, we'll give it a shot at some point. And some point is now. So let's find out what uh, is happening with this game. The year is 2015. Oh, three years ago. The planet Sierra is gripped by fear and is in the midst of a deep crisis. The evil terrorist group Scarlet are still a commanding force. Oh, they're still... Oh, they're just kind of throwing us in here. They have the power to prevent humans traveling to and from the outside universe. Artificial beings using super genetic engineering. Man, this is a word salad. Whoa. So they're terrorists, but they're an underground organization. And, but they were secretly formed. They're gonna kill humans. They have awesome strength. Not just strength, awesome strength. And they can be parasites. They're... Wait, what? Uh... Okay. 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 
into the time-space continuum, thrown into the time-space continuum? Aren't we in the time-space continuum? Didn't that Star Trek episode when they were in San Francisco hanging out with Mark Twain kind of address this? Okay, this is way too much words. So, okay, this is... So we have either super easy or super hard. Uh, let's go with super easy, why not? Password, we got game start. Select your weapon. Buster force, flame force. Oh, it looks like Gunstar. Sword, Lance, Homing, Ranger. That's like a Contra spread attack. Uh, let's go with the Buster. Oh, okay, I get it. Um... Is there one that doesn't blink like that? Uh, okay, weapon select shot. Okay, we can fix this once we start playing. Wait, how do I move? Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, you can't move when you're shooting. Okay. All right, we gotta we gotta change up the controls. Hold on. Okay, this kind of sucks, the way these controls are set up. light up there is so annoying.
Alright, yeah, we gotta... Yeah, turn that off. That light was really distracting. How do I change... can't move while you're shooting, okay? So if you don't turn on the, the super uh, annoying lights, you can't see how much power up you have. Um, what the hell's the point of that? That's really ridiculous. Yo, this game sucks. <laughs> wow. Um. Huh. <sighs> we'll give it one more try. Yeah, what's with the, the blinking lights? That's so... <sighs> and then if you don't do that, you can't see how much... Uh, how much... Um, energy you still have. Uh, like... What the hell's the point of that? Okay. And why won't it shoot for- why- okay, why isn't it shooting forward? Now, oh my god, this game is- And see why, I'd never heard of this game. Yeah, you can't even shoot. Look. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Can I get back up there? Yeah. Is he just like trapped off camera? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, but you still, you die because you don't know how much energy you have. Alright, this is really bad. <laughs> It's like the war- <sighs> Dude, it's like the worst of this genre just thrown at you. Um, not good. I can see why we never, um, yeah. 
I can see why I never, I'd never even heard of this game until this uh, collection. In fact, if I remember correctly, this game actually didn't even come out um, for the Mega Drive or the, or the Genesis, if you will. Uh, it was uh, one of those um, like internet-only games in the early days. So, garbage. Okay, well that's our sixteen-minute stream. See you later. No, just kidding. We'll play. We'll play something else. That's all right. Uh, I do have to say that we're going to get out of here by like 8.45, 9 o'clock because I got to go watch the Seattle Storm win another WNBA title. Maybe this one will be the one that unlocks the Supersonics coming back. But Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart are um, gods of the world. So I got to go check that out. Um... So what if we just like kind of use this as like a let's run around a bunch of games and screw around? Sure, why not? Let's play some columns. Now here's a game that I just never really picked up too much. Hard, easiest. Let's play easiest. obvious what this is supposed to be you know tetris and i don't know i just never really played it much i had it on the okay so you gotta get three All right. oh yeah that's right Oh, okay, cool. In fact, let me go, um, update our game. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. Ah, oh, come on. It's not updating. You know, Twitch 
is a real piece of junk sometimes. Yeah, it won't update it. Alright, whatever. The dashboard on Twitch, you know, is refusing to update the game, so... Whatever. Okay, there we go. And then get another three. Okay, and then get a three. And now, whoa, hey, cool. Okay, everything's going really fast now. This is when I always end up doing bad in Tetris, when it gets too fast. Okay, we're keeping it down at least. Hold on a second. Oh, I could have done a three there. Whoa,
Ah, crap. Oh, wow. Okay, this is getting really fast here. Side, thank you for following. I appreciate it. I appreciate the follow. Oreo side. Why did I say <laughs> I missed the E there? Oreo side. Let's try this again. this game.
Yeah, the hints actually kind of throw me off because it's always about one. It looks like it's always at one at the top. So it's actually kind of kind of throws me off a little bit. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa! This is getting hard now. Ah, crap. Let's try again. So that's what always happens to me in Tetris. I always end up messing that up. And then let's faster.
time is it? 8.39. Let's try one more game. So what's columns three? How do you do C? Revenge of Columns, okay. They see a secret treasure is kept in the pyramid. So Columns has a story mode, okay. Oh, you go against the spider, okay. Wow, I'm up 27 to 5. 30 to 5.
No! I didn't mean to do that. Alright, this game's annoying. Virtual Fighter. No damage. <laughs> So I was never really a big fighting game person. So... Yeah. He's saying they're way too easy. fall out. Yeah, where is the challenge? Oh, you fight yourself. Cool. Wasn't there a, um, a Virtual Fighter game on the Dreamcast? I remember somebody having that. Yeah, I was just not... Every kind of revision on Street Fighter, I would always check it out and think, okay, this is the time I'm gonna like these games, and... I don't know, it just never really was. And I never really liked Mortal Kombat or anything like that. We're actually going to talk about those kinds of games a little bit on our um, Resident Evil episode coming up. Talk about why I don't like horror games all that much. It's very much connected to why I don't like fighting games. I'm like bored by violence. <laughs> um, because as a child, I watched a lot of HBO movies and got I just got bored of, you know, you know once you've seen Friday the 13th and... You know, Tales from the Crypt and, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. Pixel Blood and Mortal Kombat didn't really do much for me. So, I don't know. But yeah, alright, I'm gonna watch the Storm play, because uh, Sue Bird is amazing. And yeah, so uh, thanks to uh, Oreo Side for following, and there were a couple of people popping in and out of the chat. Um, uh, next week we'll be playing Suikoden on Monday and then on Wednesday we'll be playing um, I think next week is Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden did we ever decide that which way you say it I think it's Ninja Gaiden um, we'll be playing and I think that's how you say it uh, which is gonna be cool. You know, I really, I really like that game. And I love games in its style. I was watching someone play The Messenger this weekend on a stream, and that game looks really cool. So, 
we'll get to that eventually too um so uh dreadfills.net as always we just put out an episode about deadly towers go check it out it's for some reason i was able to talk about deadly towers for nearly 30 minutes i can't believe it um there's zelda games that i only talked to about for 20 but deadly towers gets gets nearly 30 i, I don't yeah, i don't get it uh patreon.com slash dreadfills pod please get on there uh bitly dot com or no you know bitly slash uh wpw extra life is for our extra life we're gonna start mm-hmm. promoting that a lot more uh there's gonna start to be some activity on there uh i got some co-workers that are gonna start donating which is i'm really grateful for uh i announced it in a meeting last week and a couple people were very interested in donating um so uh yeah upcoming episodes uh on the podcast Mega Man 6 is gonna be recorded this weekend and i'll tr- i'm gonna try to get it i'm gonna try to record it saturday and just like real quick edit it and get it out there and then october resident evil and super castlevania and then some combination of gunstar heroes streets of rage alien storm a lot of genesis games this fall uh, our fiftieth anniversary, our fiftieth episode, anniversary episode, something or another, spectacular, is going to be coming soon too. And then our holiday episode, which will be about the PS One, and the fall, and holiday season too, I guess, of uh, nineteen ninety seven, where we're going to talk about Mad ninety eight. And why I had to go back to Blockbuster three times to get a copy that actually worked. And Final Fantasy VII. And how Final Fantasy VII paralleled a really bad semester of college. (laughs) Um, And some other things. So, um, I don't know what else we'll talk about in the episode. I gotta think about what what other early games we were playing. I was just playing a lot of FF7 and then, you know, Tactics in the winter, but we already talked about Tactics. And... Yeah, so thanks everybody to drop by tonight. Um, sorry I missed a stream on Monday. I just... I wasn't feeling well all day. Uh, I taught my classes. I did my office hour, and then I went home, and I just kind of went to sleep. And... I still felt lousy after I woke up, so I was like, "All right, I don't want to stream if I don't feel that great." You know, we've I've struggled through illness a few times on the stream, and it's never good. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, all right, we'll be. I might be back on the weekend. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm thinking maybe of playing the Mega Man Eleven demo. But I haven't beat the level yet. I'm stuck in the part with the gears that kind of grind you. There's one part of it that I can't figure out how to get through. So I got to do a little bit of research on that. And we'll uh, see um, what goes on. So cool. All right. Talk soon.